Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Rafael? Well, um, not bad, but I am ready to continue. Okay, very good. You were not in class yesterday, right? Yes, I am. I am some some sick and I don't feel so good but uh, many things <laughs> okay I understand and so you're you're kind of sick right now mm, mm, uh, yeah but but I try to listen to class okay okay perfect Hopefully you will uh going to get better. You're you're going to get better soon. Uh we are going to wait for uh the rest of um the class. And in the meantime, I want to ask you if you have any question about um the platform, right? I don't know if you have started working in section four or section five. And if you have and if you have any problem or any doubt. Let me know, right, about any question that you may have in this part or, or in this one or in the reading also. Uh, that's, I, I finished that section. I, I, am, I am in the section five. You're in section five already. That's, that's okay. So yeah. no questions about that section, right? No, no, thank you. Okay, perfect. So let's see if you have any other question. Thank you for coming here, Diego. Elizabeth, we are going to wait a little bit and we are going to start with the class. Uh, today we are going to start with section four. We are going just to review some information. As you can see here in section four, we are going to talk about different things. I don't know if you have checked um... section four. We have a video. Uh, probably we are going to watch it later if you haven't watched it. We are going to talk about um, uh, using have or get to have a service uh, that we want to be performed. Uh, if you check this information, it's here actually. is uh, really useful. And uh, the exercises, right? And tomorrow, probably we are going to check more vocabulary uh, about dating. We have a, a conversation, but we are going to practice something else. And uh, we have phrasal verbs. Uh, if you haven't, if you don't know what phrasal verbs are, uh, please check that information because that's what that's something that we are going to check, right? Phrasal verbs, and also how to make suggestions, right? So this is the information that we have. This is the conversation, also, and modal verbs, right? Gerunds and infinitives. Gerunds, we already know what they are, and also infinitives. So you shouldn't have any problem with that. And uh, also making suggestions, right? We have some rules there. So we are going just to review a little bit of that. And we are going to check some new vocabulary. So that's what we are going to do right now. Uh, section four, at the end of this week, I'm going to send you this information, right? I'm going to share this information with you. So no worries about that. So uh, the first thing that we are going to check is personal services, right? Uh, personal services are things that normally we will be able to do, but sometimes we don't have the time or sometimes we don't have the, um, um, the knowledge, right, to perform some services. So, for example, language tutoring, uh, to learn a language, sometimes we need some help. We need uh, some extra classes. Uh, computer services also, right? For example, if our computer is broken 
or it's not working, right? Sometimes we are able to fix it and sometimes we are not, right? House cleaning, right? Sometimes we don't have the time to do all the house cleaning. It takes time. Home repairs also. Uh, if we need to fix something from our house, it's uh, really useful, right? We don't know how to do it. We need to, someone to do it for us. Moving services, financial services also, music lessons, pet sitting, and clothing alterations, right? So for example, all of these are offered services. Um, those are the most common ones. Um, I don't know if you have any question about any of um, those services do you have any question any doubt new words on what's the meaning pet sitting uh pet sitting for example is like someone is taking care of your pet for example if you are not at home and you need to leave your uh, pet alone um you can take this your pet your cat your dog to another place and they can take care of of them right they can take care of them or uh, probably they can go to your house and uh, you will be able, they will be able to take care of your cat or your birds, whatever. Pet is like babysitting, but instead of babysitting, it's pet sitting, right? That's the difference. Uh, so we have different, different things, right? Moving services, financial services, clothing alterations, like if we need a tailor, for example, um, to modify our clothes or to fix it, right? we can use some of it. So this will be the most uh, offered services. Um, any other question, any other doubt? No questions? Okay. Now in this case, uh, there are some services that are more expensive than others, right? Like for example, home repairs. Um, for example, there is a, in my house, there is a sink that is leaking and it's kind of expensive. I thought that it was going to be a little bit uh, cheaper, but no, it's it's kind of expensive. So uh, we have to look for people to do that in our houses or in different places, right? So this will be uh, something that we are going to talk about. This is a listening. It says, listen to an advertisement. Will you use a service like this? Why or why not? So we are going to check right now uh, this listening. And let me know if you are able to listen to it, okay? This is just an exercise just to introduce the topic. And at the end of the class, I will ask you if you have any question, okay? Page 58, exercise two, perspectives. Get the job done, part A. Listen to an advertisement. Would you use a service like this? Why or why not? Leave it to me. Let us handle your to-do list. Tell us what you need done and we'll find the right people to do the job for you. Home services. Get your apartment cleaned and your belongings organized. Have your walls painted and your leaking sink fixed. Get all your home appliances repaired. Everyday errands and odd jobs. Want to have your car washed and waxed? Need help preparing a meal for your family? Don't have time to wait in line? Too busy to pick up cat food or drop off your laundry? You can have it all done at affordable prices. Download the Leave It To Me app and get 10% off your first hour of work. Okay, perfect. So what was this uh, advertisement about? What was this? Uh, what was the? What were they announcing? What is the advertisement about? The, the home service. Exactly, home services, right? Yes. So, for example, if you need to organize your apartment or clean it, they offer that service. Also, if you need to paint your house or fix your leaking sink, right? Uh, they they repair all the home appliances. What is a home appliance? What is that? What does it mean, home appliance? 
Las lavadoras, la, la secadora. La... Exactly. Les laundry machines, dryers, mm -hmm. right? All of that. Uh, refrigerators, microwave oven, uh, TVs, all of those are home appliances. So if you have something broken, they fix it for you, right? And also errands, right? What is an errand? What is an errand? What, what does what does this word mean? Yeah, what is the meaning? Who knows? Who knows what an errand is? Errands is like something that you have to do, right? For example, uh, you have to go and get your car washed or you need to prepare the meal for your family and you need to go to the... Um, like mandados. The market. No? Yes, exactly. Como mandados, exactly. So uh, they help you also with errands, right? Like mandados. So if you don't have time to do it, they do it for you. So uh, would you download this application? Do you think that something like that would be useful for you? Yes, it's, it's, it's yes, not, right. Uh, for example, to when we need to get a a, a birth, uh, how do you say partida de nacimiento? Birth uh, certificate. Birth birth certificate. If you if you want to to bring a, a birth participate from another uh, location, for example, if you want to bring, if you are working. And you need to 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 get a, a birth certificate uh, in La Union. It's necessary to pay so, so people that work in, in this kind of of, of of jobs. Yes, exactly. If you don't have time, right? For, because normally you are working where the bank is open or other uh, places are open, and you need to go and sometimes you don't have time right for to get a birth certificate or to pay your bills right sometimes you don't have time to do that so very good it's very useful so that's why we are going to do that so uh, but how do we say that someone has to be repaired like how can we say that and this is the part of the grammar right like this is uh, how we use get or have something done we use get or have the object and the past participle we already know what a part participle is of the verb to describe a service performed for you by someone else so if i do something or if we do something by ourselves it's like i clean my house every week right he is painting his bedroom they fixed the sink did you paint your bedroom where can i wash my car so if i hide if i have time i can do that uh, I can do all of that, right? So there is no problem. But if I, if I don't have time, I need someone else to do that job uh, for me. So for example, we use get and have. For example, I get my house clean by a cleaner every week. So he is having his bedroom painted. They got the sink fixed, right? Did you have your bedroom painted? Or where can I have my car washed? So that's how we use uh, this information, right? That this structure, right? Now, do you have any question about this? Preguntas? Questions about get or have? No questions? You have checked this information in the platform already, right? Okay, if you don't have any questions, I want you to help me with these sentences, right? Complete the sentences to express that the services are performed by someone else. I using have or get, right? And the past participle of the verb. So for example, my parents didn't paint their house before they moved in. How can I say that someone had it... Uh, Alguien más la pintó. How can I say that?
Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Can you, okay. I, I think there's something is wrong with my camera because it got disconnected. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, what happened? My, my, my microphone was out. <laughs> okay, very good. So now, yeah, now I can see you. Okay, now I, I need you to help me with this, right? I need you to help me with uh, these exercises. So using have or get, I need you to complete these sentences. For example, my parents didn't paint their house before they moved in. They, and what can I, what do I need to write here? Mm. If I use have. They they have they they have been been painted they had it painted exactly they have painted exactly mm -hmm. uh here we use had because it's in past right so they had it painted my padres no pintaron su casa antes de mudarse ellos eh, hicieron que se las pintaran verdad that's the meaning of had mm -hmm. or get right Number two, I didn't repair my own laptop. I get at the electronics okay. store. What is the answer here? I didn't repair my own laptop. I got it. Uh huh. I got it. I got it. Uh huh. What else? What is missing there? What is missing there? It's missing the past participle, right? Get and plus the past participle, right? So what is the past participle that we need here? I get my, my laptop. Uh -huh. I got it repaired, exactly. I got it or I got my laptop. Repaired. Repaired, exactly. That is the past participle. I didn't repair my own laptop. I got my laptop repair at the electronics store. Next one, number three, many people don't wash their cars. They have, what is missing here? Many people don't wash their cars. They, they, they have been, oh. have, have they, 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 Washed them exactly. They have them washed, right? Many washed. people don't wash their cars. They have them washed. Ellos hacen que se los laven. Very good. And the last one, my bedroom carpet is very dirty, but I'm not cleaning it. I'm next week. How can I write this one? I am. Mm -hmm. Very dirty, but I am not cleaning. I am. I get my bedroom carpet uh, cleaned. Okay, I get my bedroom carpet clean. And get what is missing here with get? It's the ing, right? Because it's in ing. Uh, I'm not cleaning it, right? I'm getting my bedroom carpet clean next week, okay? Very good. We can use this in present. We can use this expression or this structure in past and also in present, uh, present progressive, right? So here is I'm getting it or I'm getting my bedroom carpet clean next week. So we just need to practice a little bit more. Um, before that, this is just pronunciation. So this is just sentence stress when uh, we use this kind of sentences. Um, this is like how we, uh, how they, they, um, the intonation or the stress is a little bit longer when we need to emphasize some of the nouns, right? For example, where can I have my car wash, right? You can have it wash at the auto shop, right? 
Where can I get my nails done? You can get you can get them done at a salon, right? So you just need to emphasize those um, words, right? Uh, we are going to listen to the pronunciation just for you to, to check that. Let me see here. Just for you to listen to pronunciation, right? Because we are going to need it uh, with the conversation. Page 59, exercise four, pronunciation. Sentence stress, part A. Listen and practice. Notice that when the object becomes a pronoun, sentence B, it is no longer stressed. Where can I have my car washed? You can have it washed at the auto shop. Where can I get my nails done? You can get them done at a salon. Okay, so this is just uh, how we change the intonation, right? It says, notice that when the object becomes a pronoun, it is no longer stressed. Where can I have my car wash? Car is the object, right? You can have it wash at the auto shop. So the place where I can get it is stressed. And where can I get my nails done? The nails is the object. So in this case, it's, you can get them done at a salon, right? So the place and the verb are the ones that are, are stressed. So this is just for you to practice, right? You can practice, where can I have my car wash? Where can I have my car wash, right? You can have it wash at the auto shop. So you can repeat and repeat these sentences and you will be able to, to better your pronunciation. So now we're going to check uh, a video, right? The video that is on the section four. Have you watched the video already? Ya vieron el video? Yes. Yes, right. Okay, so we are going to check right now. Uh, this will be like a listening practice. And we are going to answer this question, right? What is the problem with Carmen? What did she try to do to solve her problem? What are the suggestions her coworker provides and what is her final resolution? What is the resolution for her problem? So we're going to watch it here because I believe that it's uh, complete here. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure about that. I'm a As on the other sections, we have an intro video for you. Please take notes if you feel you need to. Enjoy. I'm working on that right now. Uh-huh. Okay. By five o'clock. Yes, okay. Thanks. What's up, Carmen? You look really stressed out. It's his job, Hugo. I'm constantly under pressure. My muscles are tense. My neck is stiff. My stomach is in knots. I just... I, I can't seem to relax. Yeah, stress is a killer. Well, one thing you could do is get some exercise. It's a great way to relieve tension. I tried that. Did it help? That's a long story. First, I tried skating. I love skating. How'd it work out? It didn't. Well, I'll say. Then I tried dance lessons. Oh, I love dancing. Me too. And so does my husband. But... But? He was a little too enthusiastic. Uh-huh. Well, have you thought about taking a yoga class? They say it's very relaxing. Yoga? Relaxing? Are you kidding me? You see this paper clip? Yes. This is what I'd look like after my yoga class. Ouch. There's always hypnotherapy. I've tried that too. Now, every time I hear the word ocean, it's supposed to relax me. Oh, and it works. The other day, I was in a meeting. 
someone started talking about the environmental problems and the world's oceans. People said the word ocean so many times that I fell asleep. Oh yeah, I heard about that. That must have been embarrassing. Now half the office knows. <sighs> See what I mean? Need to get the hypnotherapy reversed. Or... I have an idea. You could try aromatherapy. What's that? It's like a massage, but they rub your skin with scented oils. Um, I'm not sure about that. I'm allergic to perfume. <sighs> well, uh, it might be a good idea then for you to take some time off. Go on vacation. Rent a little house on the beach or something. You know, on the ocean. The ocean? Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll take a vacation. It's very relaxing. Lying on the beach. Listening to the sounds of the ocean. 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 Okay, very good. Now let's go into uh, answer the questions, okay? What is the problem with Carmen? What do you understand? What was her problem? Carmen is really stressed. Yes, yeah, she's really stressed out, right? She's really stressed out because of her job and different problems, right? And what did she try to do to solve her problem? What did she do? What kind of activities? Dancing. Dancing. Exercise. exercise. What else? Yoga. 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 And also, uh, skating, uh, right? Massage. Massages, right? Yeah. Exactly. And what are the suggestions her co worker provides? Mm. What are some suggestions that he he provided to Carmen? Massage with oil. Yes, massages with oil, sense oils. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What else? Mm -hmm. Yoga. Yoga. Mm -hmm. And hip hypnotherapy, right? Hypnotherapy. And what is the resolution? Mm -hmm. What is the final resolution for her problem? Mm, take vacation <laughs> yes exactly to take vacations right take vacations really good because she was so stressed out that she tried different things and she has to take a break right she has to take vacations perfect perfect now that this was the introduction for uh, these kind of things uh, it says by the end of this class participants will be able to describe a service performed by uh for them by someone else using have or get so we're going to continue with the grammar so uh let's see for example um who is uh who has a car here who has a car ¿Quién tiene auto aquí o a carro? Mm. zero mm. okay zero and sandra okay how, where do you go when you need to fix your car or when you need to have uh, your car fixed? Where do you take it to? Where do you go to fix your car? I don't have car. <laughs> you don't have a car? No, in the last year, yes, but now... Now you don't have a car. No. Okay. No, me. Okay, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, where do you go where you need uh, your car uh, to be fixed? Um, I, I go uh, to the body shop. 
you go to the body shop. What is the name of the body shop? Um, I don't know. You don't know. Okay, very <laughs> good. You go to the body shop, okay? And uh, is, it, is it a good body shop or a bad body shop? It's a good body shop. A good body shop. Yes, of course, right. Very good. The mechanic Perfect. name is Alfredo. Alfredo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So Alfredo is a good mechanic, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So when we need to get our car fixed, we need, we can go with Alfredo, right? Or Alfredo's body shop. Very good. Perfect. And uh, let's see who else. Uh, Zulma, where you know, I need to fix my sink because it's leaking. Where can I get it fixed, Zulma? My sink is leaking. Where can I get it fixed? Zuma, are you there, Zuma? Yeah, but uh, I'm, I'm not understanding. You don't understand the question. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. uh, for example, my sink is leaking. Mi lavatrastos tiene una gotera. Where uh, can I get it fixed? Where can I get it fixed? A plumber. A plumber, mm. right? Uh, do you know uh -huh. any good plumber? Mm. Uh, my father is a good pl plumber. Your father? <laughs> Actually, yeah. that actually that is true. <laughs> actually, my 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 sink is leaking, and I need a plumber. But I guess that we are kind of far away, right? Where where do you live, Sulma? In Apopa. Apopa. Yes, I live in Santa Ana, so I think that it I... won't be possible. Okay, but yeah. good. So where you need to? I live in Santa Ana too. Okay, that's good. So I need a plumber. If you know a good plumber, send it to me, okay? Because I need to get my sink fixed. Very good, very good, perfect. So as you can see here in this um, grammar box, it says here, use, have, or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. It says active. Do you know where I can have someone uh, fix my bike? You can have Hazel's personal service says fix your bike, or you can get a repair shop to fix your bike. But uh, in this case, with get, we can use also the passive, right? Uh, we use the, the passive voice also. Do you know where I can have my bike fixed? You can have your bike fixed by Hazel's personal services. Or you can get your bike fixed at a, uh, at a repair shop, right? Repair shop or body shop, right? So this is inactive. We can say it inactive or we can say it in passive. That is the difference, right? It's kind of, uh, sometimes it can be confusing, but you need to practice and practice more um, to get it done. This is the information that you can have or that it's in the platform, right? So have or get is to describe a service performed for you by someone else. So for example, if you have a report to shop, fix your bike, we are using have plus someone plus base form of the verb. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. So that is in, uh, this is inactive, but in passive, you can have or get your bike fixed at a shop, or you can have an object plus past participle, right? at or by. So this is like more advanced, a more advanced English. That's how or that's why you use it, right? It is just another way to say the things. So this is uh, some examples, right? For example, use, get or have plus object plus past participle to express that someone else does something for you. And we have two examples. Let's see, Eliu, can you read the examples, please? Yes. I have my hair cut at Marriott Baber Shop. I get my food delivered by Uber Eats. Very good, very good. I have my hair cut at Marriott's Barber Shop and I get my food delivered by Uber Eats. Very good, perfect. So that's passive, right? Passive voice. So it's, this is the structure, right? This is useful if you want to practice. Eso lo pueden utilizar cuando ustedes estén en su casa y ustedes quieran practicar cómo puedo utilizar esto. How can I use this? How can I use these structures, right? This new a way to say things. 
So we can use this, right? Um, if I do it myself, I can use the active voice, right? Subject plus verb plus object plus complement. I paint my house every year. Gina made her food yesterday. He is fixing his bicycle right now. I, as you can see, we have a simple present, simple past, and present progressive, right? Three different tenses. And here we have questions. Where can I wash my car? Did you take the photos, right? But if somebody else is doing the job for you, if you are paying somebody else to do it for you, we can use this structure, right? Uh, this is in passive voice, right? So subject, el sujeto, get or have, the object, el objeto que, que quiero, ¿verdad? Que quiero reparar, o past participle verb, the service that I need, by or at, at is, is the, the place, right? By the person and at the business plus complement. So we can use this structure to uh, create more sentences. Cuando no sepan crear una oración o quieran crear una, pueden utilizar esta estructura. Examples. So in activities, I paint my house every year. If I pay somebody else to do it for me is I get my house painted. And this is optional, right? By Andy and Michael every year. I get my house painted. Gina had her food made at Franz restaurants yesterday. And the last one, he is getting his bicycle fixed right now. He is getting his bicycle fixed right now. As you can see, I can use this structure in present, in past, and in uh, present progressive. Lo puedo utilizar en tres diferentes tiempos. And also in questions, right? Where can I have my car washed? Did you get the photos taken? So taken is the past participle of take, right? And all of the words in green, they are past participles, right? So we can create new words with this structure. Questions, preguntas acerca de esto? No questions about this? Okay, so remember, you need to uh, follow these uh, formulas or this structure to create more sentences. And this is uh, what I was saying, right? You can um, use it in, in, in passive or in active, right? This is the active and this is the passive. Active and passive can be used in different tenses, right? It's just the voice that is different, right? So we have a simple present, present continuous, past simple, past continuous, present perfect, past perfect, future simple, future be going to, models and model perfect. We can use all of those tenses in active or in passive. So this is for you to be clear and make sure that you don't have any mistake, right? Or, or don't get confused, para que no se confundan. For example, I make a K, that is active because I am the one who makes the action, right? That performs the action. I make a K. But in passive, um, the doer of the action is not important, right? Remember that. So a cake is made, a cake is made by me, right? By me. So that's how we change um, the active and passive voice. And we have here uh, passive voice. What is passive voice, right? For you to remember that. In active voice, the subject performs the action, John hit the ball. And in passive voice, the action is performed on the subject, the subject receives the action. The ball was hit over the fence. That is an example in passive. Questions for passive voice and active? Este solo es un repaso, ¿verdad? Preguntas de active and passive? Any question, any doubt? No doubts, no questions? Okay, perfect. So I'm reviewing this because in this case, with the get and have verbs, we can use it also in passive, right? So this is just um, a review, like the doer of the active voice. Um, my boss fired me, right? My boss fired me. That is another example in active. And this is a, more, a little bit more explanation about the passive voice. 
Like the receiver is more important than the doer. He was killed by a car crash. He was killed by a car crash. Uh, zero, he was killed by a car crash. Is active or passive? Zero, are you there? Yes. Yes, the, yes. Please. The, the sentence, he was killed by a car crash. Is passive or active? The number one? Yes, number one. He was killed by a car crash. Is active or is passive voice? Is passive voice. Is passive voice, right? Exactly, because the doer is not important. The receiver is more important, right? The same happens with coffee is ground in Costa Rica, right? Coffee is ground in Costa Rica and the bank was robbed yesterday. All of them are passive, right? Perfect. Let's see. And this is with get, right? With get and the verb to be. Active, my boss fired me yesterday. Passive, I, yesterday by my boss, or I, yesterday by my boss, right? I was fired, right? I was fired yesterday by my boss, or I got fired yesterday by my boss. Um, we can use get, for example, B is, in this case, it will be like kind of similar of get. We can use it in both ways. And we can use it for uncontrolled actions, negative situations, and services. The third thing is the one that we are checking right now, the services, right? For, for example, my work pays me every two weeks. I can say also, I get paid every two weeks by my work, but my, by my work is optional, right? So I get paid every two weeks. Me pagan cada dos semanas, ¿verdad? That is a uh, get paid, that is um, passive voice with get and is an uncontrolled action. Negative type or situation. For example, in active, we can say the storm damaged my house. And in passive, we can say my, my house got damaged by the storm. That is like a negative type of situation. My house got damaged. And for uh, services, right? The mechanic is fixing my car. My car is getting fixed by the mechanic. So that is the situation that we're studying right now for services uh, done by another person. For example, who cleans your teeth? How can I respond? Uh, how can I answer this question, right? I get my teeth clean by the dentist, right? or I have my teeth clean by the dentist, right? Person plus get plus have plus object plus past participle. So that is, this is like an extra um, explanation, right? For example, if I say I needed uh, my photo for my passport, I took my photo, right? So that means that I need to take my picture. No, somebody else will take the picture for me. So how can I say that using get or have? How can I say that? I needed my photo for my passport. I took my photo, no, right? How can I say it? I need, I need, I need, I need, uh... for example, I took my photo. Yo me tomé la foto. No, right? Alguien no. me tomó la foto. ¿Cómo puedo decir eso en inglés? Alguien me tomó la foto para mi pasaporte. How can I say that in English? I have been taking the photo by, by the Photoshopper. <laughs> for the Photoshopper. Very good. Very good, Elliot. Very good. Very good try. Uh -huh. Somebody? Somebody uh -huh. take a, a photo for my passport. Somebody taken my photo for my passport. Somebody took, yeah, it can be it can be possible. Somebody took the photo for my passport. But if I if I want to use get or have, those are the verbs that we're studying, right? Get or have with get or I have. Get my photo took for my passport. Let's see. Let's see. 
I got my photo taken, right? Remember that okay. is the past participle. Yes, that we are learning. Very good, very good, Cesar. Very good, Eliu. Thank you very much. Very good, Ciro. I got my photo taken by a photographer or I had my photo taken by a photographer. So that is uh, in passive. Remember, si yo tengo esta oración en pasado, if I have this sentence in past, I know that because uh, the past of take is took, right? So, so what I'm going to change is not took. What I'm going to change is got, right? I'm, I'm not going to say get. So the past of get is got. The past of have is had, right? So I got my photo taken. And that verb took, that is the main verb. So that would be the past participle. I got my photo, my photo taken by a photographer, not a Photoshopper, right? Photoshopper is the person that probably uses uh, Photoshop, right? But a photographer. Very good. Questions? Preguntas? No questions? Everything's clear? No, I have a question. About the, uh -huh. uh, the verb, the, I don't know, what is the tense in the verb? You... It's only in get and have, right? In in, in the exactly. old time, you you need to put the past participle or the participle in this case. Not yeah, the past. past participle. Exactly. Or the past, past participle is the past participle. Yes. Oh, okay. It's okay. the past participle. So I'm going to change the tense in get or had. For example, if somebody is taking the picture right now. Si ahorita me están tomando la foto en este momento, I'm not going to say, I can say I get my photo taken, but I am getting also, right? I am getting my photo taken by a photographer, right? Or I am having my photo taken by a photographer. So in those tenses are the one who change or that change, right? Got or had. Very good question. Okay, very okay. good. In the past participle is all the time. Yes, all the time, past participle. That's the reason why this is important, like the structures you see here, past participle, right? If I, if we go back in this case, is past participle all the time, right? This is in present, okay. this is in past, and this is in present progressive, but is past participle, all of them. Exactly, very good, perfect. Perfect, very good, 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 good question. Let's see what else do we have here. Ah, for example, I need to cut my hair. So I'm going to cut my hair. Do you cut your hair? Somebody else here cut their own hair? ¿Alguien aquí se corta el pelo ellos, ustedes solos? ¿O van a que se los corten? I go to the cut hair. You go, right? You go to the barber shop or the salon, right? And somebody else... Uh, cut short hair. So how can I say, um, voy a ir a que me corten el pelo? How can I say that? Voy a ir a que me corten. Yo no, ¿verdad? Porque yo no puedo. Voy a dejar pelón, ¿verdad? I'm going to cut my hair? No, right. Voy a ir a que me corten. How do, how do I say that? Using get or have? I have. Ajá. Uh -huh. I'm going to have. I'm going to have it cut my hair. Okay, let's see. So I'm not going to cut my hair. I'm going to have, or I'm going to get my hair cut, right? Cut is the past participle of cut, right? So I'm going to have, or I'm going to get my hair cut tomorrow. You see, voy a ir a que me corten el pelo mañana. I'm going to get my hair cut tomorrow. So how can, that's the way I can say, it, right? Remember the person I am, right? And the the tense that I'm using, plus get, plus have, uh, plus the object, plus past participle. That's the reason why we we need this structure. Okay, for example, my car is broken. My car doesn't work. I am going to fix my car? No, right. He is fixing his car? No, right. He is not fixing, fixing his car. He cannot do it. He doesn't know how. So... How can I say, él eh, va a que le arreglen el auto, va a ir a que le arreglen el, au el auto? How can I say that? Because he cannot do it. He cannot fix his car. How can I say that? He's, he's getting his car fixed. Let's see. 
Very good, perfect. He is getting his car fixed, exactly, by the mechanic, right? That is optional, but very good, exactly. He is fixing his car? No, he is getting his car fixed by the mechanic or he is having, right? So we can use that, perfect. So remember uh, this structure, person plus get plus have plus the object, uh, the receiver of the action plus past participle. Let's see what time it is. We have 10 minutes and this is, I guess, uh, the homework for tomorrow. It says, create a list of services you receive and write at least three sentences with get or have. So I want you to write three sentences. I gave you a lot of examples. Like I gave you this one, he's getting his car fixed. I gave you this other example. I'm going to get my hair cut tomorrow. And this one, I got my my uh, hat. I, I, I got my photo taken by a photographer or I had my photo taken by a photographer. So I need you to write three sentences. Van a escribir tres oraciones, only three, solo tres. Example, I'm going to get my computer fixed, right? That is one sentence. Number two, she is having her house painted. She is having her house painted. That is another one. So you can use I, you can use she, you can use it in present, you can use it in present continuous or in past, right? Uh, but I want you to write three sentences using these structures, right? Usando estas estructuras. With get or have. Three sentences. And you can use these structures. Pueden utilizar estas estructuras, these formulas, right? So you're not going to get lost. Now, I have a question. In yes. the case of, of, of the, the cut of here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you need use going uh, all the time, going to, because uh, you are saying like boya. Boya, exactly. If I'm going to say I'm going to, yo voy a, I'm going to use uh, going to, exactly. Okay, okay. Exactly. If I'm going to use, I can use, I'm going to, I can use, I got if it is in the past, right? Or I can use, I'm getting right if it is present progressive. I am getting my car fixed. Probably is not happening right now at the moment, but it's something that I am going to do very, very near in time. So I can say I am getting my car fixed by the mechanic. So very good. Perfect. So I need you to write three sentences. You can write it in present, in past, present progressive with I am going to. No problem. Questions, preguntas de la tarea? Questions? We are going to write them tomorrow. Mañana las vamos a escribir todas, ¿verdad? Me van a decir dos o tres oraciones y las vamos a escribir. We are going to write them down. Let's see. Uh, I guess that we are going to finish with this. Phrasal verbs, right? Tomorrow we are going to check phrasal verbs. Mañana, phrasal verbs. Do you know what a phrasal verb is? Seven case on phrasal verb? Do you know that? I'm not sure, but it's like a, a verb that is a, a, an expression uh, redefined, right? I don't know. Yes, exactly. A, a, for example, a verb, a normal verb is, for example, um, Fix, right? Fix is a verb, or for example, uh, cut. Cut is another verb, right? Cut, run, look, right? But phrasal verbs, uh, they can be modified by other word, right? Another particle, for example, cu cut up, right? I can use a preposition, cut up. So now if I use cut up, it's another verb, it's another meaning. Cut down, right? Uh, look, right? Look is mirar, verdad? Pero look away, what is the meaning of look away? Look away. What is the meaning? Examinar. Um, yes, exactly. It's como look away, como mirar a lejos, verdad? O apartar la mirada. Look away, right? Look away. So, uh, it's como apartar la mirada, verdad? So, or look out, look out, look out for, 
uh, for the cars, right? When they are coming, you have to, to look out. You have to be careful, right? You have to be careful when you are crossing the street because of the cars. The cars can hit you. So you need to look out uh, for the cars, right? Look outside. Look outside, right? If I say look outside, what is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of look out, outside? Mirar afuera, exactly. Mirar hacia afuera. So all of the verbs are related, right? They, for example, with look, con mirar, todos se parecen, todos están relacionados, pero todos son eh, diferentes. The meaning is different because that word that is next to it changes the meaning of the verb, the verb a little bit, right? Or sometimes completely, right? Uh, look out, look down, for example, mirar abajo, look up look outside, look inside. So it depends. So those are phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are verbs with two or more words. And tomorrow, specifically, we are going to check three word phrasal verbs. Mañana vamos a ver phrasal verbs de tres palabras, okay? Three word phrasal verbs. For example, broken up with, came up with, looking forward to, cut down, and keep up with. So uh, if you have any idea or if you need to you, if you need to review phrasal verbs, you can uh, do that if you have time. If you don't have time, we are going to review it here. Uh, for example, uh, we have some phrasal verbs here. It says, Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. And we have the meanings here. So we have be excited for, and a romantic relationship with, stay in pace with, tolerate, reduce the quantity of, have a good relationship with, be responsible for, and think of or develop. The number one, for example, Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. What is the meaning of broken up with? In a romantic relationship. Very good, Elio, and a romantic relationship with. So if you broke up with someone, you end a romantic relationship, right? Number two, Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. What is the meaning of came up with? Yeah, think of or develop. Think of or develop. Yes, exactly. Kevin came up with a great idea, right? Very good. Number three, I'm not looking forward to watching my neighbor's dogs. They're not very friendly. I'm not looking forward to. What is the meaning of looking forward to? It's talking about a, a dog, right? And the dog is not very friendly. Yeah, have a good relationship with. Uh, have a good relationship with no it's like I'm not I am not looking forward to it's like be excited for looking forward to is be excited for so I am not excited to watch um, or to watch him for my neighbor's ducks right I am not excited right so looking forward if, if you're looking forward to something you are excited for something right you are happy right in this case it says I am not so this person is not happy. Uh, number four, my doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. What is the meaning of cut down on? Reduce, Reduce the quantity of. Reduce the quantity of, exactly. Perfect. And the last one, Rob can keep up, uh, sorry, Rob can keep up with the students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. What is the meaning of keep up with? Have you heard that uh, reality show, Keeping Up with the Kardashians? Have you heard that? So that is a kind of similar, right? Rob can keep up with the students in his Mandarin class. The meaning of keep up with is stay in pace with. Como que no se pone al corriente, no está a la par, ¿verdad? Stay in pace, no va al mismo paso, right? 
So Rob can, can keep up with the students in his Mandarin class. That is the meaning of keep up with, right? Como que eh, estar al paso, estar al pendiente, estar al, al mismo paso, right? So very good, perfect. So that is the meaning, right? You see? So in this case, uh, phrasal verbs, we have three words, broken up with, came up with, looking forward to, cut down on, and keep up with. So we have five phrasal verbs. Tomorrow we are going to study more because today's class is over. We need to go to bed. We need to rest a little bit. So I will wait for you tomorrow. And remember the homework, right? At least, at least three sentences. If you write one, it's okay. If you write two, it's okay. Okay, no problem. If you write three, perfect. So just try to practice this. Do you have any question? Questions about section four? About any, any exercise? No questions? Okay, remember to finish section four by Thursday and I will see you tomorrow at eight, okay? Have a nice night and take care. Good night. Thank Good you. Night. Thank you. Have a nice night.